Hey y'all, I'm Todd Spink and I've um, got a 1954 Beechcraft Twin Bonanza and I've been looking all over the place on YouTube to try and figure out how to pull the prop and I haven't found any videos for the geared engines so I decided maybe I had to make a video. So uh, according to the Hard Sold Prop Manual First thing we got to do is um, remove the uh, piston nut, and I found um, seven sixteenths goes on it, but it appears to be kind of sloppy. So um, shouldn't be thirty six millimeter, but thirty six millimeter is actually tighter. So I'm going to go with the thirty six millimeter, and then I'm also going to hot hold the uh, spring retainer. Uh, with 5 eighths. So I've got a 5 inch socket and a 36, uh, 36 millimeter wrench and so I'm going to hold it with the, uh, the spring with the 5 eighths and loosen it with the 36 mil wrench. Now what I didn't mention a minute ago is um, that's the first step but really the first step is the prop has to be feathered. If you don't feather it, there's a spring in here that'll kill you if it gets away from you. So uh, it's a very dangerous deal if, if the prop isn't feathered already. So uh, I actually ran the engine uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and uh, feathered the prop so that it's now in the feathered position. And um, the spring is in the most relaxed position. That's what we're after. There it is. So the next step is to uh, remove the safety wire off of the link pins and link pin screws. So we're going to do that next. So I've taken all the safety wire off the link pin and link pin screw um, and the book says to make sure that you mark them with the location that they're at so that you can put uh, the pin back in exactly where you took it out at. Um, as I'm just discovering there's a number right here on the top that tells you what number it is so right here is one and uh, obviously two is right here so um, mark you can mark the, the link in between here with I'm just using a, a pin punch and a hammer to mark them so I can identify them so the next step is to pull the there's a screw the one that's um, closer to the engine is the screw and then you can um, turn that link uh, 90 degrees and you can get hold of it. And at that point, you can wiggle it and it should come out without too much problem. And that removes the link. Um, and at that point, that allows the blade to pivot freely if you need to. The next step is to remove the jam nut and a 
socket head screw from a guide. This is the guide here. You can almost not see it. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. You got a socket head screw, a jam nut, and a washer. And they screw in this way into the guide. Um, its purpose is so that when this is, uh, when the piston is forward in the um, normal flight position, it catches on the back side of this flange so that the piston can't go too much further. Um, it's a stopper. Um, but trying to remove it is quite a trick. You have to uh, uh, put a, an Allen wrench in there and you'll need to shorten it both here and here to have enough room to swing it. So I'm pulling this one off. I've unscrewed it. Fortunately, it's finger tight. And I can pull that one out. Rotate the prop. And it's almost impossible with the counterweight in position, so you will have to uh, put the uh, prop pitch in a position where you can get your hand in here. And then you really have to feel the back side of the socket head screw to try and get your wrench into the hole. If you're lucky, you can break it loose and they're fingerable. You're able to remove it. One more thing about this, um, the size wrench that I'm using is one quarter inch. And the other thing to make note of is that there is a lock for the blade right up here and if the blade goes um, which I can't do at this this point because it's gonna hit right here but when you start to pull the piston off the lock is right up here there is a pin and when you go to a normal position, you'll have to release that pin so that you can rotate the blade. The next step is to remove the piston. And I had quite a bit of difficulty trying to figure out how to do that. Um, there's enough oil in there, it creates a vacuum, and as you're trying to pull this off, the book just says, pull it off. And it not really easy to get off. Uh, there's an O-ring right here and until you get it past that O-ring and the threads will allow it to breathe and let, let get some air in there. But until you get to that point, you get it off that O-ring, it's pretty well sealed. And I'm just using, I got a sawed off wrench that I use for another purpose and I'm just using it to uh, press against the piston here to get it to come off and I'm just working it off so about to get this off trying to be real gentle about it because it's going to start to lose the oil that's in it and it will make a mess step is to remove the safety wire and the spring retainer screws. And 
next step is to remove the screws from the spring retainer plate screw out from the Pulling the screws out. Covered in oil. Makes them a little slippery. And once you do that, you push the retaining plate in. When I first read it, it said you're going to push it in about a quarter inch, and I figured there'd be a resistance, but there wasn't. You just want it to push in because you have two retainers in here that you need to remove, like so. Then the spring assembly comes out. So the next thing to remove is the safety pin. The safety pin goes through holes that are drilled in the shaft coming from the engine and holes that are drilled in the prop nut. This is the prop nut on the outside. The pin actually goes through both the shaft and the prop nut. So when you put it back together, you'll need to line those up. We're about ready to remove the prop nut, and it's actually the next step in the Hartzell manual, but something that's unique at least to this airplane and is not mentioned in the manual are the de-icing tubes. Um, they're going to get in the way as you're pulling the prop off. They're going to hit the blades, so we're going to remove these. Uh, there's a couple of screws on the outside with lock nuts on the inside, and they just come right off.